Oh, I've just literally seen now you were watching a Norwegian streamer, Emzia. Blatantly simping. I see how it is, Toby. Oh, yes. I see, I see how it is. Of course. Unbelievable. I'm not watching her anymore now. I have my full attention with you on you. And some ludicrous good looking people on Snapchat. Why can I hear music? Was that from you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, girl. Oh, she's playing New World. I'll let you just click on the link. She lives in England. Oh. No, she lives in an Oslo. Why does it say Norway, England? Oh, because she speaks Norwegian and English. Yeah. Yeah. Prepare battle. Yeah. Jane. Prepare for battle. Get in position! So, right, so Odin's excited. just won the defense, and we'll see how they do here. So, there isn't going to be a Sally out. A couple of silly dars. Four sets three. <coughs> It's quite some delay, you know. I can't, I can't wait to see this. Oh, because you're watching this one live, you mean? Yeah, on the on the stream, it's a free man. If you're yeah. watching my stream on OBS, OBS on Discord. You... Oh Just yeah. Straight away. I I am looking now. The Drayton's starting with his javelins again, so he's crazy. They have no flames out at the beginning. I probably I think they've got a setup just in case they do try selling out and the jobs would absolutely ruin some threat. Let's see. Yeah, this can be interesting. This can be really interesting. But then again, I I'm praying as long as Crazy and Drayton is on the bottom, everything should be fine. Yeah, I swear to god they used some sort of hack so it looked like they weren't actually the worst players on their team on the last battle. Colin. I think so too. Yeah. yeah. Where are they? <laughs> Here he is. His his shit player number one. Crazy. Look crazy. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. I can't even ride a horse properly. Look. I can't even go in a straight line. What is what is he doing? What is he doing? Right, where's the other one? Where's the other crap player? Where are you Here doing? He is. Just literally just chilling on a resupply point instead of you know getting stuck in. Got blonde hair as well. Got some crown on his head. Looks like he shot himself while he's running. Look. He's like, what am I doing? What am I supposed to do? There's a wall here. The wall of enemies. The, is that the new crown from the French season? Oh, the laurels. I can't see. Just stand still, Drayton. Yeah, You're doing nothing it, too. Yeah, it is the laurels, yeah. Oh my god. Isn't he British as well? Yes? Yeah, he's basically 100%. French, though. He's a southerner. Yeah, in his, so, so he's selling really himself to shorten it right now. Yeah. Now he's like, what's this box do? Oh. Oh god. Ah, uh, right. It looks like the fight's actually going to go, so I'll, get, I'll have a look what's going on. Yeah. Ruffle and Dover look like they're going to climb up this back wall and decided against it because there are a lot of chocolate paladin zeros over here. They've actually pulled most of their stuff back already. Have they? Where's the rest of it? Oh yeah, now they're pulling back. I was going to say it. I can't see where they're at. Ah, oh, they sent it all to the back supply. Okay. Nice. So Odin's are going to get A and B and they're going to have like 15 minutes for the end point. They're rushing in with their heroes as well. They might actually get a, catch a couple of the guys out here. Kill them. Oh, that's a glitch. I thought there was like some sort of ammo going over us. But it's like some graphics glitch here with the wood. I think Midgey's dead. Yeah. Yeah, very much so. Right, so they're stacking stuff in the back corner here. They've got Silidars, they've got Flames. Shields. Two sets of shields even. Block formation, uh, Fort Brachio, Iron Reapers. That is that is going to be a tough crack. But I think with flame, the Kalian bombs coming over to land on top of it. That's going to be yeah, let's see. Going to, going to be doable. <coughs> on, Odin do on. have quite a lot of units. I can break through this. Sixteen minutes. All oh, right. One, two, three, four, five sets of Reapers. Two sets. Of Dillidars, a Houndsman, Flamey Boys, IPGs, three sets of Brachios, and yeah. Shield. Did they not oh, have the two question. shields? They did have two shields, they swapped one out, okay. Right, and the attackers are swapping units now as well, by the looks of it. They've got three sets of IPGs, they've got a Fort Brachio, two Claymores, still two sets of Javelins up, only one Reaper, one Madao, no Flames. With that setup, they will not break that nut in the corner. 
The units they've got there, they will not break that corner. I agree. But Hayachi could switch out to Flamer, so he should switch out to Flamer. Hayachi has now just switched out. <coughs> I wouldn't be surprised if they go for the back supply, though. Get units and then move in. Although, is that Boom Bastic? What's he got there? Boom Bastic's got Imperial Archers at the back. So they're going to do a lot of bleed. Um, they're not going to do as much damage as, say, as if Tercios were sat there shooting comes through, but they're going to do enough. So Wedge of them just climb the wall, I think, just get eyes on what's going down there. They've seen all of the heroes there. Now they're going for the back supply. That one unit of archers yeah. is obviously going to be annoying, but it's not going to really be able to do much. They no, just put out a unit of Grey Air Garrison as well with all those heroes. That's going to be an easy kill. Are they going to use their own traps to block them from going back, or...? I don't know. You can, tre you can treb this resupply here. Yeah. If they don't get units out there, they're going to struggle. They need to get um, that. Sort of Odin's Legion, Legion are losing heroes massively, though. Yeah. Brayton's swapped Pike as well. They've got a few guys. For it. They're just trying to see where their specialists are so they can get rid of some specialist units. I actually just jumped on that Reapers. He's not going to kill Reapers, of course. No. Maybe with the help uh, from Call Me Hero, though, he might. All the Flamer boys Strange. are. On. All the specialists should be behind the spear guards. Yeah, I don't think Odin's Legion really got much out of that. I think they were trying to kill off specialists, but they, it just didn't happen. No, they're down to just, just three happen. as well. Oh, why does this do this? Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> when, when's the next Legion start? Next week. For some reason, if I just ult and then move my mouse over, it starts moving. I have to ult tab first and then move my mouse over. It's... Oh, plebs beat pond guard as well. Okay. I thought that might happen because plebs beat them. Plebs were We Are Clowns from last season and it was like a pond guard were in one group. We Are Clowns were in the other group, and then they had like a, a, a finals face-off, if you like, and We Are Clowns won that. Um, and then they changed their name to Plebs, and I asked Temple Shot why, and it said because they're taking it seriously now. <laughs> so, I, I would put my money on Plebs as well. Pongard weren't as good on the last fight as well, although they, they uh, the shot caller couldn't make it. It's going to be interesting <laughs> to watch the, the VOD on that, though, and see if it was a close match or not. But it looks like this season, Surf Slayers and uh, Plebs are going to be the two stronger teams. They've both been incredible when I've seen them so far this season. This is going to be interesting. Is it going to be a yeah. dual push? It looks like it, yeah. Oh, oh no. It's... Let me... Don't hate it that that moves every time it goes over. So 13 to 2 heroes as well. So only two Chocolate Paladins have died and 13... Odin's. Now they're doing a full send at the back with their, their units at the time as well. Um, or at least okay. they're, they're baiting, but I think they're actually going to do it. I don't understand why they did it last time with no unit. It baffles Yeah, but me. They, still keep, they still keep a solid 5 on the outside. They could be trying to go both ways. Yeah, or they keep just a plug here to stop them coming through. Yeah, look, just in case they do try coming yeah. through, they've got a set. Or yeah. if they all rotate this way, then they can get onto the point. Yeah. But then they need to rotate quick. They need to pivot really quick then. Yeah, this is where the big fight's going on though, so we'll watch this. Um, the attackers do have flames out, so I actually does have his flames somewhere. There they go. They need to stop that pike from jumping on them though. They need to get rid of Ripcat. So that their flames can do as much work as possible. The defenders have got their flames here as well. Crazy's straight on top of them. I think Ruffle is going from as well. Crazy needs to die now. Crazy needs to die. Oh, he got There's out. There's still flames left, though. There's still flames left. I actually has got more flames left, though. Now they're hitting the big blobs. So that's good there. What's on this side? Oh, they've pushed in on this side as well. There are no flames from the defenders. Oh. So There's they're some, already trebbing the back. So... Oh, I'm going to zoom out a little bit so I can see what's going on on both sides. So Odin's have definitely won on this side. This side, it looks like it's fairly even. Unit-wise, or hero-wise, even paladins have lost more heroes than odins have but they've got a they'll have shot a reload reload times respawn time so they'll get back in quicker this 12 against 6 now though yeah. odins odins have won this it looks like it's look like they're gonna have they, it now. they only have to get rid of three heroes yeah. and then it's just time to block stuff rips caps coming through with cataphracts oh, now so that's yeah. gonna do work they don't really have a unit to stop them no, they managed to get the units out the way though well, exactly. well well done there they've still got units blocking here they have units still on the supply to stop stuff coming straight through as well. 
Good shout. They're trebbing their own units. Oh, yeah, okay. They're yeah, the, the spirit guards are yeah, the, I mean, there's, the there's, inside, but that's less worth it right now. A couple of cataphracts. They should just pile this cavalry in so they can't get through. Yeah, but they're doing that now. <laughs> now, now it's going. There we go. There we go, yeah. There's uh, some reinforcements coming from behind, though, like half a unit of Madao to stop them. Then Wing the oh, Star's going to go straight through. Those are going to do some work. No. Nope. Oh, they got stopped, they, though. Heroes yeah. jumped on them. This yeah, is a scrappy yeah. fight, man. Units-wise, it's still extremely close. 720 to 740. It's but Odin the heroes is, is that are gonna bleeding do it. heroes like damn right now. Yeah, only three, though. And because oh. Odin's uh, had died more before, their respawn time is going to be longer. And they have to start from all the way back there, so yeah. they're going to have more time to get back in. Chocolate Paladins are stabilizing now. They're getting control of the point. They've got control of their resupply. Odin's need to pull back and reset before they lose even more. Hayachi's just died here. Chocolate Paladins are being aggressive here to get rid of as many units as they can. Keep pushing them back, keep them unsteady. Odin's need to pull back, man. They need to stop wasting the units. It's still six. It's basically 700 versus 700 unit wise. They need to reset. Have a look again. It was a good strategy. I would honestly maybe even try the same strategy again because that worked really well. The defenders have still got flamers. The attackers will see when they all spawn back in. Let's have a quick look at the hero difference. 27 to 22. So it's very similar still. The Overlook what didn't watch the plebs defend, but they wrecked Pongard on the attack. Okay. Yeah, plebs are ridiculous. Good. Like it's. Who are the plebs made up for? Plebs oh, are no. basically EU one. Um, Temple shots their team captain. Uh, I think a lot of them are from Clown Fiesta, like the main alliance on EU one yeah. that's from yeah. the last few seasons. Um, an immense team, man. And they were obviously last season they were called We Are Clowns. Now they're plebs again. Plebs they played as pleb under the name plebs in like CBL tournaments before yeah. as well, so incredible team to watch. I can believe that. I think on honestly that plebs and surf slayers is gonna be a, a awesome match. Let me know when it's taking place. Well, I need to see if I'm the one casting it first, don't I? Who won the first match, Namio Odin's? Doesn't matter if you cast it or not, as long as it goes. I want to see it. No, no, I want to cast it. Good of course, of course. <laughs> nah, nah. I think it's the way the way they're doing it. They're, they're choosing. I mean, I might try and ask and say, look, is there any chance I can cast it? But I think that will be an awesome match. I don't even know when it's going to be. Good Treb as well. Landed on a yeah. good few units. Big push coming from the side here. What they need to try and do this time is is actually block the back. There you go. So Art has just got through with his cataphracts. Basically, completely yeah. unscathed as well. And they're gonna go straight in. They're gonna, yeah. But Here Odin should go. know and have turn something around, to stop them. Yeah, no, no anti cav really though. Although Ragnarok and its magic jumped on them. Yeah. Somebody's just used the smoke bombs from the alchemists as well. There are flames going off from both the attackers and the defenders. The defenders have got two sets up though, which is going to be a problem for the attackers because one set's under here where they've got Crazy and a couple of the other heroes jumping on now. I think it was Hayachi. Ruffle and Ryu Shin's in there. They try to get into the flames, but the flames are in the shields. So that's going to be rough to get rid of. The attacking flames are still doing work, though. The javelins can't really get any shots off. Good treb there onto the... Is that Reapers? No, Palace Guards. The back keeps staying open. Yeah. The back keeps staying open for blue. Or Odin. And Mad even though Madawa are in the back and Madawa are anti-cavalry, they do not stop cataphracts when they've got the two key on. Wing the Sars from the front as well. Chocolate Palins have stabilized this. Put the heroes, man. They're down two heroes for Odin. Yeah. They've got enough units for one more push. They've got enough time for probably two more pushes, but it won't make a difference after the next one if they lose. No, um, but also, what, what, do, what do Odin have left now compared to um, Palins? We don't, we don't see what units have been annihilated, but now the hero deaths is massive. 41 to 25. Yeah. No, no, but that, that's what I'm saying. We don't see what they have left. We can only nah. guess right now, right? It'd, it'd be nice if it had like a big red through it. If it yeah. said like the unit was out of the game, but we don't we don't see. We'll see when they respawn back in, then we'll be able to see. Um, exactly. They'll maybe have a, a, a hero or two with no units. Colt 45 out here, though. Is he actually going to be able to win? No. going to be able to get oh, away, those though. Those <laughs> God damn. They just tank for days. There we go. 
Right, Chocolate Paladins are back in. Were there two flames up on that last push, man? That is... Especially with the, the, the shields. Yeah. It's so difficult to get those shields out of the way. They've got um, Alchemist. Well, healing. So they'll have Alchemist right in the corner. See it. There they are, look. There they are. Wait, can I actually just go under the map and look up? Apparently, yes, you can. Still can't see it. I was trying to see if you can see the flamers. I thought you might be able to see the guns or something from the flamers, but you can't. Interesting. Um, but like this? That, this got confusing. <laughs> this got confusing really quick, man. We'll just follow the battle like this from now on, Luke. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All the right. dead bodies was just piling up there. But I guarantee the flames are going to this. So they're going to do another supply push. That was the better push that they did. With the majority of the guys going back here, five money, and then like... Yeah, to but they're already bank. pivoting. You see that? They're already pivoting. Yeah, but like the fight back here is better for, for Odin than fighting here because the flames have to move. They couldn't yep. keep their flames protect as well protected. But what Odin's... What Odin, sorry. What Chocolate should do, they should ignore this. They should know this is the last push and all they have to do is defend this back point. They're sending us that Matelatori up to just... Oh no, the unit's retreating. Okay. They shouldn't be pushing too far forward here because this is trebable. All Zodins have to do is get a guy up here and treb that. And there goes crazy, so he's probably going to treb now. Is it bad of me to hope that he falls off? And dies? Yeah. Oh, nah. okay, Wouldn't be funny. Go <laughs> crazy. Come on. Look at him, he's like, oh no, there's a guy running at me. Dodge, dodge away! That's going to be one thing I'm looking forward to next season, playing on the same server as those guys again, so I can troll them all the time. So, the pike there from the Chocolate Paladins getting stuck in. Bow, what did he have for a unit of matter? They need to keep their heroes, though, with the better units out of the fighting as much as possible. This is the this is the right decision, just staying in the back corner, because this is all trebable here. Yeah, and have their units in. It just moving onto the corner of the circle so they can't get trapped. Quite a bottleneck. Yeah. It's being laid up right now. Call me Hedros up on the thing, just going to be bombing from the top. The Kaylee militia here are going to do work though into that side there. <laughs> if they can, they need to try and reach in here. Yeah, they're, they're forcing them to move already. Yeah, Flames have just been killed as well, so they got moved and then a musket bomb, black powder bomb hit them. Mm -hmm. I reckon they were going to wait until there's like two minutes left and try doing one big push and hope that they win. Um, that's basically the way they have to play it. Ripcat's just got my territory in the back, so they can probably just ignore him. Mm -hmm. The Drayton and Lucas steal. They've got stuff in the background. They need to stop people flanking around as well. There's no flame, uh, flames. There's no cav anyway from Odin's on the field. They've got three sets of the Kalian though. And here comes the push. So with two minutes 30. There's still a couple of flamers left though, I think over here from the defenders. I think Odin's have got this though. We'll see. All the flamers are still going in on the big blobs of units. They've won this fight here. These shields need to get turned around into there, probably. We're at 14-7, 14-7. Yeah. yeah. I yeah, think Odin's is... are going to do this. If the, the thing they might struggle with now is because uh, Odin's died more than... Chocolate did. Chocolate should be able to respawn quicker and actually maybe get on the point. But yeah. there's that many units on point. Any heroes that get on here, even the short swords, are going to die so quickly. Even the Nodachi look. Yeah. As right, long so as stop they, yeah, that. And now they have the There you go. Fowl's jumped down yeah. as Pike, so he's going to be able to dodge through a little bit, but he's not going to survive long enough. Ripcaps no. is jumping in as well now, so they're just raiding and through. Ripcaps is the last hero, though, so as soon as he's dead, it's GG. Yeah, and the, the, last need a few seconds of, uh, the last couple of uh, pushes has cost Paladins quite a lot of heroes as well. Yeah, I mean, they definitely just lost the full 15 yeah. stack there. GG. That was very well played from Odin. Like, it looked like Paladins had that, but Odin's just thought about it. There's the, Kale the use of the three Zekalians up on the, the wall to just bomb the strongest position that Rocket Paladins had and force them to move. And then they had that one musket player, uh, Call Me Hedro, up on the wall. So as soon as they moved and he see the, saw the flames, he dropped a black powder bomb straight on top of it. Killed the rest of the unit. And then they, when they went down, they had the, the, the CC advantage, basically. 
Yeah, but this was impressive because that last push just did everything right. When they jumped off yeah. the wall with the heroes, just to get on top of the last remaining specialists. Yeah. That helped. Rating, rating and crazy as well. Yeah. Doing good. 18 assists from Drayton, man. 13 from crazy. I'd like to see what unit... Oh, you can see. Two flames. I actually thought it would have killed more flames. 44 for Brachios. Have a look Jesus. at the Lucas drill. 22 Iron <laughs> Reapers and 4 flames. Brutal. <laughs> Miss. I'm going I'm to have a quick look through the Chocolate Paladins team. So I want to see who killed the most flames from both teams. Oh, three from Lionheart. I actually oh, got four. Oh, I actually's winning. I actually's MVP for calling it now. <laughs> see. Three. That Hayachi's MVP for uh, Odin's. We're calling it here. Shout out to Hayachi. Jumping on those flames like their lives depended on it, and they actually did. <laughs> right, Fluffy Rabbit. Six flames. Jesus Christ. 21 Zakalian. Right. He's MVP. <laughs> I don't think you find anybody beating that. 12 Zakalians is good, though. Zikalian yeah, good. but only two flamers, right? Oh, so 21, fl 21 yeah. Zakalian, though, for. The so fluffy rabbit, yeah. just literally going man bear pig. Pikes as well, so just with their, their dodging on the specialist unit. Very well played, both teams. Exceptional fight that was. How even the fight was. Saying that. Yeah. No, the the the, the second Odin's battle. Legion the... got hammered yeah. there. The first one wasn't bad, wasn't good. The was first one that, wasn't. That was extreme. Extremely even. Yeah, the second one is really even. Heroes killed 42 to 42. That is they impressive. Only, they only won that though in the last minute as well, so that was an extremely close fight. Nah, and if you look at it, the combined battle strength or or the the battle strength for each of them is pretty similar. Everything is pretty similar. All of the units mm. killed was... Yeah, and everything there took place to last in 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Yeah. That, that's where the difference is. Yeah. Good fight though. Very good fight. I enjoyed that. Toggle, Odin's Legion Blue. GG.